I feel like the I feel like the naming something Spice Bus or having something named Spice Bus in Manchester in 2018 feels like it means a very very different thing. Just just thought I'd throw that out there. As I promised you in my last video, I'm gonna take you along on something that's a little bit more businessy. Today's episode of What Will I Learn? So I'm on my way to talk to the team at Six and Flow about video. Six and Flow are an inbound marketing company. And basically they want me to talk to them about these things because as any good company now knows, video is so important. Let me stop me right there. I'm probably gonna interrupt a few times. I don't know where my head was at. In fact, interruption counter right here, just down in this corner. Um, Let's go this way. So I set the camera up to record the talk that I was doing and for whatever reason I forgot to turn the mic on which is unfortunate, annoying and really ironic since I was talking about recording better video, better audio and, uh, and stuff like that. Anyway, back to, back to me talking. There was another aspect to me recording myself doing this talk and that was that I wanted to go back and review it and, and look at how well I did because a lot of the times when you a lot of the times when you're talking about something in front of people your mind's like going and you're kind of thinking oh shit like you know there's so much going on in your mind going wrong what I'm actually trying to say here is that sometimes in your head you go through so many scenarios you think about so many different things that could be happening or maybe you think that people are perceiving them to happen when actually they're really not you just assume that that's coming across when really you're probably just kind of sat there plain faced. So I really wanted to see that and obviously I can't because I didn't record any of the audio. Wait, let me just expand on that idea. So this like watching yourself back over personal development, that's really important, especially if, well, especially if you, if you want to get better, that's, that's how you get better. I, it doesn't have to necessarily be watching yourself back, but you know, if you're making YouTube videos, go watch them back. <laughs> Especially leaving it like leaving it a little bit of time and then going watching them back. That's really like you're gonna one, it's gonna make you realise that you are improving, and two, you're gonna see the things that you were doing badly then. And if you're still doing them, you know, six months later, then change them. If you don't like them, change them. Back to me. So I've just got back from doing a talk and the talk was at a company called Six and Flow. They're doing this thing called learning lunches and I was the first person to talk at one. FYI, these things are internal though, so uh, yeah, before you go showing up expecting a free lunch and some, uh, some free knowledge. I think it went okay. I was a bit nervous to start with. I didn't really have a game, well, I did have a game plan going in. I was gonna talk about myself, why they should trust me, then I was gonna go through gear, then I was... Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt myself just there because I don't know what I'm talking about. I had the game plan. I went in, I executed the game plan. I had it written down, I went through it and I did it. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous about it, but I don't know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let, let me finish. Let other me finish. I'll probably say something useful. Probably. You start to realise that if you're putting out shit, why should you expect someone to watch it? Because you're not going to watch someone else's dog video. Why would they watch yours? And so add in that production value, even if you're shooting on a phone. Shot on the phone. Just good lighting. In fact, this is uh, a tutorial that I'm gonna do for you guys really soon. It's shooting a two person, two camera interview and then editing it. And I'm gonna do that all on the phone. So because me taking you along to this first bit of work was a bit of a bust, 
with me not recording the audio, I thought I'd take you along and show you some other work that I've been doing, which is this print. So this is a print that I made from a photograph that I took up in the Scottish borders. It was for an exhibition. I was hired by the curator of the exhibition to photograph the sculptures. One of which was this piece, which is neon lights. It was set in the grounds of a place called Mellistane House, which was, um, yeah, this beautiful stately home. Really great place to photograph. What I had to do though, because it was neon lights, you needed to be kind of there just for dusk and dawn. So that kind of like blue hour time, which meant that the first day I was shooting from maybe half six till half 10, 11. Then the next morning up at four to get there for half past so you could get this effect basically where you can see the neon but there's still enough light in the sky. As I said at the start, I just wanted you guys to come along with me on something that was to do with work. I thought this was a good one to start off on because it was a pretty relaxed kind of thing. It's also quite similar to the stuff that I do on this channel, so it wasn't too much of a departure. I was actually going to end it there, but it seems like there's loads of sound left, so let's just keep going with this. What was that? What, what was that sound? What the f-